Ahalan wasahalan mtazamaji siku ya Jumatatu iko ni moja mwezi wa Novemba mwaka 2022 popote pale ulipo na tumekuwa siku yako kwenda vema kabisa hujambo na karibu hizi ni taarifa za NTV sasa kuanzia sasa hadi mwendo wa saa saba hivi nitakuwa nakupasha taarifa kutoka pembe mbali mbali pamoja na mada yetu kuu ya siku ya leo ambayo ni siasa za matumizi ya GMOs humu nchini kumbuka kwamba kumekuwa na utata kuhusiana na swala hili mtazamaji viongozi wa serikali na vile vile viongozi katika upinzani wamezungumzia swala hili nitakuwa nakupasha kwa kina zaidi pamoja na kuzungumza na wageni wangu ambao tayari wameingia ndani ya studio kuzungumzia kwa kina zaidi swala hili mie kwa jina ni Nicholas Wambua kaki takonda maana nami kuanzia sasa hadi tamati ila kwanza kabisa hebu tuangazie baadhi ya mambo ambayo yamegonga vichwa vya habari asubuhi ya leo na moja kati ya masuala hayo mtazamaji ni kwamba jengo limeporomoka katika eneo la Ruiru kaunti ya Kiambu kumbuka kwamba hili ndilo jengo ambalo gavana wa kaunti ya Kiambu bwana Matangi siku ya jana aliongoza juhudi za kuondoa wakazi zaidi ya moja ambao walikuwa kwenye jengo hili na ni baada ya nyufa kupatikana ama kuonekana katika jengo lenyewe na mwendo wa saa kumi alfajiri jengo hili basi limeporomoka na hivyo basi wale ambao walikuwa wamepanga katika jengo hili basi wako ama wametoka kwenye hatari hiyo ni taarifa ambayo mwenzangu ngina kiroli anazidi kufuatilia kwa kina zaidi mwendo wa saa hivi atakuwa anatupa taarifa yenyewe tena kwa kina taarifa nyingine ambayo tunaipa kipo mbele vile vile ni kuhusiana na biashara ukanda wa ziwa Victoria hapa mko kwamba magavana kutoka kaunti mbalimbali wanakutana mbali katika kaunti ya Kisumu kuzungumzia masuala ya biashara katika kaunti ambazo ziko kwenye ukanda wa ziwa Victoria taarifa hii wenzetu kutoka kaunti ya Kisumu wanaiandaa hapo baada ya tukamtupa kina zaidi taarifa zenyewe na kutufahamisha je hao magavana na viongozi wengine wamesemaje kuhusiana na biashara katika ukanda huu wa ziwa Victoria lingine katika taarifa zetu ni kuhusiana na masuala ya afya ambapo kamati ya bunge la senate kuhusiana na afya inakutana na viongozi wa vyama vya wahudumu wa afya ambapo wanapokea semi zao na sauti zao kuhusiana na ongezeko la vifo katika hospitali za umma na hili kutokana na kwamba inaripotiwa kwamba kuna utepetevu katika hospitali nyingi tu na hivyo basi kamati hii inajaribu kutafuta suluhu kujua ni nini ambacho kinaendelea katika hospitali hizi na basi waweze kutatua swala hili la afya mtazamaji ikiripotiwa kwamba wananchi wamekuwa na lalama kwa hospitali mbalimbali. Taarifa hiyo tutakuwa tunaipata hapo baadaye tena kwa kina zaidi. Na mwisho kabisa ni kuhusiana na msasa wa makatibu katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Kumbuka kwamba kulikuwa na kesi mahakamani ambayo ilikuwa ni ya kuzuia zoezi hili la kuwapiga msasa makatibu ambao wametoliwa katika serikali ya Rais William Ruto. Hivyo basi mahakama leo itakuwa inatoa uamuzi wake kuhusiana na kesi hiyo na kusema iwapo basi zoezi hili litakuwa na ngwananga ama itakuwa namna gani mtazamaji hizo taarifa zote tunazipa kepo mbele na tunazifuatizia kwa kina zaidi hapo baadaye nitakuwa nakupasha na hasa utakuwa nizipokea kwa kina zaidi mwendo wa saa moja katika taarifa za NTV jioni ni hizo taarifa na nyingine nyingi hapa ndani ya NTV ambapo bila shaka tutakuwa nakupa kwa kina zaidi mtazamaji karibu sasa tuangazie hizi taarifa kwa kina na tunaanza na taarifa hii kuhusiana na matumizi ya GMO ambapo serikali ya Kenya kwanza ilitupilia mbali makataa ya matumizi ya GMO ambayo ilikuwa yamewekwa mwaka mbili na ilikuwa ni miaka kumi baada ya serikali yake mwai kibaki wakati huo kutupilia mbali matumizi ya GMO lakini wakasema kutokana na hali ya njaa sharti sasa GMO zikubaliwe kutumika humo nchini ambao kipenda ni matumizi ya mimea ambayo imekuzwa kwa kutumia vini tete na hivyo basi kinara wa upinzani Rela Udinga amesema kwamba mimea hii ama GMOs ni hatari kwa matumizi ya wananchi na kusema kwamba bunge linafaa kujadili swala hili kwa kina zaidi kuna kwamba wananchi wanaokolewa kutokana na jenga hili hebu tuzungumze sasa na mwenzangu ambaye ni Zaki Usmasame kutoka kule magharibi mwa Kenya ambaye bila shaka anafuata zia taarifa hiyo maana eneo hilo ni eneo la wapanzi wa mahindi atakuwa anazungumza na viongozi vile vile kusikia wanasemaje kuhusiana na swala lenyewe lakini kumbuka kwamba siku chache ambazo zimepita mtazamaji ambaye ni waziri wa viwanda Moses Kuria amezungumzia swala hili la GMO hebu tusikie amesemaje kuhusiana na swala hili manake semi zake zimeleta utata Being in this country you are a candidate for death And because there are so many things competing for death there's nothing wrong with adding GMO to that list 
That is why we have deliberately decided to allow GMOs into this country. Na mtazamaji hizo ndizo semi za Moses Kuri ambaye ni waziri wa viwanda humu nchini akizungumza na kusema kwamba ilikuwa sharti na ilikuwa makusudi kwamba wa wabuni tena ama wakubalie matumizi ya GMOs humu nchini na waginongo watatunda na studio mtazamaji kidogo tu niwatambulishe kisha niulizo wana semaje kuhusiana na sula hili ndani ya studio ni na professor Gitile na ituli ambaye ni mtaalamu wa utawala na uongozi karibu sana bwana professor vile vile tunaye Timothy Turoitich ambaye ni mbunge wa Marakwet Magharibi karibu sana Timothy Nam. na vile vile tunaye mbunge wa Molo ambaye ni Kuria Kimani karibu sana kwenye NTV sasa yes, karibu ni nyote na tunaanza hapo kwenye semi zake Moses Kuria ni Tanzania professor naona umetabasamu sana sijui umefurahia semi zake Moses Kuria ama namna gani umetabasamu <laughs> kwa sababu i don't know nilisoma mahali kama rais kama hiyo ilikuwa ni rais ama ni ile fake account mm ambaye rais alisema Moses Guria is a gift to Kenya <laughs> uh, on some on Twitter uh -huh. so and i think that's probably the president account mm. because you see Moses Guria has a way of speaking his mind mm. Moses Guria is a very brilliant Kenyan Moses Guria knows that we don't need the GMO that's why he says that look there is a lot of things competing in Kenya to kill you mm. and therefore there is nothing wrong in handing one more <laughs> Now, because you see, mm. uh, tabu yetu sisi kama wa Kenya, ni ile wa ingereza wanaita slow thinking. We are slow thinkers. Mm. We are not willing atukubale kuanda kutaputa ukweli. Hii nchi, haina tabu ya chakula. Mm -hmm. Naweza kusema hivo, pila ile na hitu benefit of research. Lakini, hiko na problem ya fund management. Uh -huh. Now, uko chuoni, <laughs> bila tunaambianga wanafunzi wetu, if you don't define your problem appropriately, mm. where's kuwa na sulu, you mustn't define it appropriately. Okay? Now, just look, you go, the other day tulikuwa na ishi wa nyandarua, kama unaweza kukumbuka. Ambaye kipiripiri na ile constituents ngini na eto ole kalao, mm. wakulima wanapatia chakula ngombe. Because wana mahali ya kupeleka. Mm -hmm. Lakini chini hapo tu kidogo hii constituency ya Gioni na ito Ndaragua watu wanakufa njaa. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm. When I say fund management as of to shortage of shortage of fund. That what it means. Mm -hmm. Because if the fund is managed appropriately then hakuna mahali Kenya unaweza kukocha chakula. If you take for example if you take Nyeri for instance people watu wanakufa huko Kenya mm. ama you take Meru the lower part of Nyambene, there is no food. The rest of the marrow is full of food. Chakula. Chakula. You understand? Uh -huh. So, in a basis to invest in food management and in distribution. Uh -huh. Because hata ukezikiliza zarikale wakati wanasema wanataka ku increase food production. Uh -huh. So, they will subsidize production. Nobody is talking about subsidizing the market. Uh -huh. Where, when you produce this food, Hakuna mtu anafikiria utaipeleka wapi? <laughs> you understand? Unazalisha lakini unakaa na eh, eh, lakini exactly. Aha. Okay? So we need to begin thinking as a people. Mm -hmm. We also the government also need to stop employing people on loyalty. Mm -hmm. Just employ people who can deliver. Shikila tu hapo mheshimiwa. Uh, Timothy. Yes. Mheshimiwa, uh, umesikiza semi za yeah. Moses Kuria na amesema kwamba kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vinapambana kutua kama wa Kenya. Mm -hmm. Anasema kwamba we kama ni mkenya tayari wewe ni Kandidi ito wakifu. Sote ni kwamba yes. tutakufa ndiyo lakini. Semi zake pengenu na hisi ni Kelly Srimax. Asante sana. Ndugi yangu. Mimi kama kiongozi. Nime shangazo sana na semi za mm. Moses Kuria. Unajua ndugu yangu ukiwa CS. Mm. You are the. You hold a very executive position. In that ministry. Na kusema kwamba. Kuna vitu mingi ambaye na compete for death in Kenya. Mm. Na ni kama anasema kwamba GMO pia yuko mmoja wapo amesema ya, yes <laughs> amesema makusudi wameileta <laughs> umeileta <laughs> na <laughs> na ina, inaingia inaongelea mambo integrity mm -hmm. ya viongozi wetu kwa sababu unakumbuka juzi pale uh, UK mm. kuna minister ali resign kwa sababu ya ku send what you call an aggressive text message mm -hmm. to someone alituma tu message tu alituma kwa simu mm. lakini kwa sababu kulikuwa na complain 
in the public mm. huyo minister aka resign mimi na, na hopes siku moja kwa Kenya hii tutafikia mali kama hapo kwa sababu sehemu hizo kulingana mimi haitoshi inafaa kukemewa haikubaliwi haikubaliki mm. katika nchi yetu ya Kenya kwa sababu ndio tuko na demokrasia unaweza sema kitu unataka mm. lakini kama minister wa trade ambaye tunaangalia vitu ambazo they are very controversial in the country kama mimi na ikashifu na sikubaliana naye kabisa mm-hmm. na anafaa ku retract your statement mm-hmm. na apologize to yes. asante yeah. mheshimiwa kuria pengine isia zako sasa kuhusiana na swala hili la gemos je unapendekeza tutumie gemos tuendelee kufa kama alivyo sema waziri ama namna gani Mm. Na kwa hapo kidogo tunaarifu kwamba kidogo kipaza sauti chako kina tatizo kirekebisho kisha nitakuwa narudi kwako muda si mrefu kuhusiana na sole profesa watakusema kitu <laughs> so nataka kusema hivi mm-hmm. unajua mimi kama uh, mkufunzi ama scholar mimi mm-hmm. nitafikiria different mm. uh, sasa kama nataka kukuambia ukweli kuria is a very brilliant kenyan mm-hmm. He trying to anajaribu kukuambia no. agubaliane na hii <laughs> nyie <GMO> mo importation <laughs> do you understand mm-hmm. anakuambia hii kitu iko na madhara si mm-hmm. amesema iko vitu vingi inataka ina compete kunyonga nyizi hizi mm-hmm. sasa we can bring one more mm-hmm. what he is saying <laughs> is hii uh, kitu hakuna sababu ya kuileta mm-hmm. is not convinced lakini unajua sasa hawezi kusema hivyo kwa sababu yeye ni minister wa serikali mm-hmm. Sasa vandana akusema hivyo anaenda round nyingine anakuambia what we are doing here we know tunakupatia sumu. Yeah. Wewe kula sumu tu utauwa na hiyo sumu <laughs> lakini kwa watu supo zingine unafanya nini? Mm-hmm. Unakula nao. Kusema kweli we importing 10 million bags. Is 10 million bags? Yeah. Tumetaputa ile nyingine tukakosa ili tu import 10 million bags. Mm-hmm. You see the former chief justice Mutunga. Mm-hmm. Mutunga alisema our nation is a abundant economy. Mm. Okay, you know what abundant economy means? You only do unafanya ile vitu ni kusaidi wewe mwenyewe. Mm. Regardless madhara italetea wananchi wa Kenya. Unakumbuka ulikuwa na chukari hapa ilikuwa na magure. Hiyo mm. chukari no. ili destroy wapi? When do you know why it was destroyed? Uh, Mimi sijui. Yeah, exactly. Tuliku, tuliku, no it was never destroyed it was eaten by Kenya ilikuwa na wananchi wa Kenya sasa vile mimi nasema mm. the country needs people like Kuria Kuria is the best pr- uh, friend of the president <laughs> because he is speaking his mind uh-huh. he is not a boot licker na kuna ukweli ndani yake na kuna ukweli ndani yake eh, eh, si mtu wa kuenda kuomba na kupika magoti <laughs> okay yeah. ni mtu ambaye atasema ile kitu iko roho yake Truth is tumeenda wapi kutaputa normal mess tukakosa ili tufanye nini mm-hmm. to import in GM somebody want to make money. Mm-hmm. And the good is saying tafadhali kama unataka kutengeneza pesa si utapute ma njia nyingine ambayo idhuru wananchi wa Kenya. Mm-hmm. But he can't say that. Mm-hmm. Ni, ni waziri wa serikali sasa anaifanya mcheso uh-huh. joko. Anafanya sataya. Uh-huh. Inaitwa sataya hiyo. Yeah. <laughs> lakini kupitisha ujumbe. Lakini ya yeah, lakini mtu kama hiyo ndio rai ndio rafiki mkubwa wa rais mm-hmm. kwa sababu hataki madhara kwa wananchi wa Kenya ndio mm-hmm. anaweza kusauri rais vizuri mm-hmm. ili watu waende vizuri hiyo 10 million bucks tumeenda Zambia tukakosa mahindi mzuri mm-hmm. tumeenda Malawi tukakosa mahindi tumeenda Tanzania tukakosa ili tufanye nini GMO. ili tulete njia mo mm-hmm. na tena kuleta njia mo ni kusema tuna taabu ya chakula mm-hmm. sisi hatuna taabu ya chakula hii nchi mm-hmm. we have a food management problem Asante uh, asante sana profesa. Mtazamaji kwenye mtandao tumekuuliza hili swali pale kwenye Twitter je ni njia zipi zilifaa kutumiwa na serikali kusuluhisha uhaba wa chakula nchini. Japo profesa anasema kwamba kuna uhaba wa chakula lakini je unahisi pengine kando na matumizi ya GMOs unahisi ni njia zipi ambazo zilifaa kutumika na serikali kusuluhisha tatizo na uhaba wa chakula nchini? At Nicholas Wambua underscore at NTV Kenya hashtag ikiwa ni NTV sasa. Mheshimiwa Kuria, nadhani kwamba sasa kipaza sauti chako ki sawa. Hebu tufahamishe na utupe simu zako na fikra zako kuhusu na swala hili zima la GMOs. Kwanza kabisa nilikuwa nataka kusema kwamba my name sick eh, mm-hmm. Moses Kuria. Naam. Ako out of order. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ya vile alifanya that communication. Kwa sababu maswala kama hayo 
mm. ya kiserikali afai kusema kimchezo vile Nam. lakini eh, my personal views about uh, gmo kwanza tuelewe gmo ni kusema nini mm. gmo is just means genetically modified organisms na ijapokuwa tunasema ya kwamba hatutaki kukubali mahindi sasa ya, ya hivi vyakula vya gmo mm. nataka kukufahamisha ya kwamba tayari saa hizi kuna a lot of genetic engineering ya zile vitu ambazo tunakula zimeenda through genetic engineering <coughs> niko po kufano hawa kuku uh, the way we are now rearing our chicken kuku mm. tunaweza ku alter their dna kiasi kwamba wakati hao kuku wanakuwa, wanatoka kutoka kwa mayai their beaks zinakuwa zimekatwa it is through gen genetic modification ndio kwamba tutakuja kufika hapo saa hizi vile tunafanya wa dairy farming kwa mfano tunaweza ku, ku genetically modify ile mbegu ambayo tunapea ngombe ndio tunaweza pata kwamba you can predict kama utapata uh, um, ndama uh, kike ama either male or female mm -hmm. and even able to determine the color if you want a black calf you can get a black calf so unaweza kuwa na a dairy farm ambao unaweza kuweka sema, kwa mfano um, dama wako wote wakuwe rangi fulani wakuwe na zile ile ile batitia kiwa size fulani mm -hmm. and all this is possible through that technology tunaita genetic engineering mm -hmm. lakini tunapofika sasa ikiitwa nafikiri siju tukisema GMO ndio wa Kenya sana sana wanaona kama wanaogopa lakini that genetic modification already tuko nayo katika Kenya yetu nimekupea mfano wa, wa, wa mambo mawili ya, 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 ya two products ambapo we are already doing genetic modification mm -hmm. that is in dairy and in chicken farming mm -hmm. So but uh, the way now we communicate this to Kenyans becomes very important because mm. we have really to educate people what genetically modified maize is for example yale mahindi ambao tunakuza hapa kwa mfano kule molo tuna uh, tunaweza tuna, kulima viazi mafiki tunazipanda mwezi wa 4 mm -hmm. tunaenda kuvuna mwezi wa kumi na moja. hiyo mahindi inachukua kama miezi saba. Mm. so this genetically modified uh, maize ni ile ambayo inachukua muda kidogo ya kuikuza and what i'm even encouraging uh, ningetaka kuambia waziri ama the executive musifanye tu importation ya genetically modified products and products wacha tupate hiyo teknolojia tuanze kupata wakulima wetu genetically modified seeds ili kwamba uh, profitability ya our sector kwa sababu ukiangalia kama nimesikia kama bunge wengi hasa wa upande wa Rift Valley ambao wanakuza mahindi mengi sana wako a little concerned ya kwamba kuleta hii GMO itaweza kumaanisha kwamba hawatapata market mm. ya yale mahindi yao ama yale mahindi yao ambayo yako yako, yako kwa shamba saa hizi yataweza kununuliwa kwa bei kidogo kwa sababu ya, ya ya impact ya kuleta hii genetically modified maize mm. but what i'm saying is but kama tunaweza kuwasaidia pia wao tuweze kuwapea genetically modified uh, seeds ili ya kwamba hiyo mahindi ambao wanakuza iweze kukua at a short duration of time na management ya hiyo crop mm. tuhakisha kwamba it is uh, the cost of production iende chini mm. kwa sababu wakati tuna 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 mm. tuna hiyo duration tunakuwa na seeds ambao for example hata kule huko north na mali kwingine zinakuwa drought resistant mm. through that genetic uh, genetic modification i think as a country tutakuwa tume solve in the long run mm -hmm. the, the issue ya, ya, ya food Nam. na tutakuwa tunahakisha kwamba eh, mahindi eh, ama farming kama hiyo ya mahindi is, is profitable na pia nikukumbusha pia unajua ukiangalia vile watu wanasema kwa mfano Thailand yalikuwa wa kwanza kukataa kusema ati sasa GMO haikubaliki mm. tarehe 9 tarehe 3 tarehe 3 tarehe mwezi wa 8 2011 Nam. 3rd of August 2011 11 years ago Bungeni. Yule ambaye aliitetea kabisa mambo ya GMO bungeni alikuwa Raila Odinga. Mm. Sasa leo tu, tu, at, as, as Kenyans let, uh, watch it, watch it, oppose things for the sake of opposing. Mm. It is important to understand ni kwa sababu the technology ambayo ilikuwa then ya genetic engineering ya 2011 a lot of uh, research imeimproveiwa katika hiyo mambo ya genetic engineering uh, kuliko vinyeko saa hizi. Kwa hivyo kuenda aje alikuwa naikataa wakati ule lakini sasa alikuwa uh, nikubali ile wakati ule mm -hmm. na sasa 11 years and, and again after intensive research na, na kwamba hiyo field sasa iko na a lot of um, 
improvement ndio nakuja kusema kuikata but I, 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 again i really want to urge the executive is that the way we communicate this to kenyans is very important no. wacha tuweze kuwafundisha genetic uh -huh. modified organisms ni nini mm -hmm. tukuwe na discussion about what is genetic engineering na hii gmo ni nini so that it's not just something that looks like poison unasikia hata uh, professor hapa ameanza hata kukompea hiyo gmo na, na mercury kwa 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 kwa, kwa, kwa mind you know nadhani kwamba mheshimiwa ametoa mfano nadhani kwamba ametoa mfano mheshimiwa tulishi una Bas, eh, mimi sikubaliani na mbunge amolo rafiki mm. yangu mimi si mwana sayansi naam lakini kuna vitu ambazo lazima tukubaliane kama nchi mm. atujui kama GMO ni mzuri kwa nchi Naam. ama ni mbaya mm. kwa sababu tunaona kama wa Kenya enough research haijafanywa na mimi sina shida sana nayo lakini ile na question ni procedure ile walitumia this is a controversial issue in Kenya mm. So vile mimi naona ni kama sisi kama wabunge tungeuzishwa kwa mambo ya GMO. Kumbuka mm -hmm. GMO ilikuwa imekuwa banned in Kenya. Ni juzi tu baada ya uh, rais wetu Ruto kuchukua kiti mm. ndio akaweza ku, uh, ku, 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 uh, ku lift your band kwa cabinet. No. No. Lakini mimi ningeona kama kwa sababu ina involve most Kenyans who are controversial with it. Mm. Nikuwa naona kwamba hiyo policy document ya cabinet ingekuwa converted to a proposed legislation. Alafu iweze kuja kwa floor of the house. Wabunge ambao wametumwa okay. bunge because the uh, MPs speak on behalf of their people. Mimi nimetoka juzi uh, mashinani. Na watu wetu wako na a lot of concerns kuhusu mambo ya GMO. Ya kwanza wamesema wanataka kuimport 10 million bags ya GMO maize to Kenya. Mheshimiwa, ni rusu nikukatiza tu kidogo. Nifahamishe mtazamaji taarifa ambayo tumnaipokea na mtazamaji kama unavyoona kwenye runinga yako ni kwamba Mogo wa elimu yule daktari ambaye alikuwa daktari Bandia kama inavyosemekana kwamba amefungwa kwa miaka 29 mtazamaji kwa makosa ya ku, ku wabaka baadhi ya wagonjwa wake mtazamaji ni kutokana na uamuzi ambao umetolewa pale mahakamani naye Hakimu Wendy Kagendo akisema kwamba huyu bwana mogo wa elimu ni hatari kwa jamii na anafaa kuwekwa nje ama mbali na jamii kwa muda mrefu kama inavyowezekana mtazamaji amefungwa kwa muda wa miaka 29 na miezi sita katika mahakama ya milimani kwa kwamba hizi ni taarifa ambazo tunaipokea sasa hivi taarifa kina zaidi tulikuwa tunazipokea mwendo wa saa moja kwenye taarifa za NTV jioni mheshimiwa yeah. ni kwa nasema mimi ni mbunge kama mheshimiwa wa Molo hapo tumechaguliwa na raia na kazi yetu ni kwenda pale bunge kufanya oversight representation and legislation. Naam. Kuna vitu ambazo sisi kama wabunge mm. tungependa kuijadili pale bungeni. Mimi mm. naunga mkono na uh, rais wetu daktari William Samoei wetu asilimia 1000. Lakini kama mbunge kuna kazi ambayo nitumwa na raia nifanye bunge. Mm. Ya kwanza ni mambo ya oversight. Hii vile mimi naona mwenyewe. Rais angeongea na cabinet. Wa formulate a policy document Mm -hmm. tuweza kusponsor bill pale bunge kwa sababu sasa hii hatuna a legal and institutional framework kwa mambo ya GMO. Mm -hmm. Ukiona nchi kama Germany, Italy, France imeban GMO. No. Nchi ambayo sana sana iko na GMO ni, ni, ni US. Lakini kwa US ukienda kwa shelf. Yes, they display wanaona wana ukienda kwa shelf kwa supermarket wamesema organic mm. wameweka GMO so that mwenye mwenye uweze kuchagua. Lakini kwa Kenya Atuna hiyo legal framework. Wajua nimeona kwenye video moja kwamba yes. kuna upande wa GMOs na organic. Yeah, yeah, kwa organic zimekwisha zote zimekwenda wamenunua. Lakini kwenye GMOs kule GMO mabaki zimejaa. Yeah. yeah, kwa sababu mm -hmm. at least US wako na legal framework mm -hmm. ya ku, ku govern mambo ya GMOs. Lakini Kenya tumeintroduce a flat mm -hmm. policy without a proper legal and institutional framework. Na inaweza yeah. kuwa na madhara in future. And that is my concern. The process is a problem. I don't have no. the the uh, issue uh -huh. na the entire thing but the process is a, is, is a problem for me. Naona na, na, professor na washwa kidogo professor nitakuwa yes. napata mapumziko mafupi kisha sasa turudi tumsikize kinara wa upinzani Raila Odinga yose manene kuhusiana na swala hili la GMOs na tuliingilia kwa kina zaidi iweze kuona madhara yake ni yapi vile vile mheshimiwa kuria tueleze je ni mambo gani bunge inafaa kufanya upande wake kuhakikisha kwamba basi kama anavyopendekezea uh, washimwa kama authority kwamba baadhi ya kaunti kama hizo ambazo wanakuza mahindi kwamba wape GMOs kama mheshimiwa atakubali maitakuwa namna gani mtazamaji ni swala nzima ambalo tunalizungumzia siasa 
katika matumizi ya GMOs na kumbuka kwamba taarifa ambayo tumepokea ni kwamba Ugweri umefungwa na mahakama pale milimani kwa miaka 29 na miezi sita mtazamaji kwa madai ya ubakaji katika huduma zake ama kuhudumia wananchi huku akimu akisema kwamba huyu bwana ni hatari kwa jamii na nafaa wiki mbali na jamii kwa muda mrefu iwezekanavyo mtazamaji napata mapumziko mafupi muda mrefu nitakuwa na rudi na taarifa zaidi vile vile na mazungumzo ambayo ni ya kuhusiana na GMOs kusindo living in hard economic times. We have high cost of living. Uh, the prices of basic commodities have skyrocketed. Kenyans are barely surviving. If you think about the currency we use, a um, thousand shillings is now 500 shillings. I don't know whether we are headed to a point where for people to understand money, we'll need to print a 5,000 um, currency note. On one hand, citizens want improved and better services. On the other hand, they don't want to pay more taxes, but they also don't want money borrowed. A decade or so ago, Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba were the young players in the Spain squad. Today, Busquets and Alba are the veterans leading their experienced peers and emerging young stars into the World Cup. It is 2012 meets 2022, as Spain's past, present and future come together. New Sensodyne Repair and Protect with Deep Repair. It's a huge game changer for me. The science is pretty amazing because it really goes deep inside the tooth and repairs tooth sensitivity. It's going to improve the quality of my life in a big way. <laughs> To get a Biro Paki by Esther Williams, dial star 811 star 934 hash. Skiza na Nation. Good day everybody, I want to talk to the gentleman, yes it's you. My name is Betty Kialo and we are here at Summer House Nairobi in Karen where all the action is going to be taking place on the 26th of November 2022. I'm talking about great activities, good food, good vibes, all for our men, you know our brothers, our uncles, our dads, our sons, everybody in our life who is a man. We're inviting you here at Summer House for the Man Cave all by the Nation Media Group, Nation FM, and NTV. So come through here on the 26th of November. It's gonna be a great, great time. And so make sure you get your tickets from Kenya Buzz at 2,500 Pekeyake. And you come here at Summer House Nairobi and chill out with your fellow men. It's gonna be a great time. Kujia <laughs> niwate. That's how you inspire us to always deliver the best quality meals made fresh with locally sourced ingredients. Galitos. Bold African flavor. Get the Galitos hot box and a 500ml Coke soda at just 699 Kenya shillings. Karibu tena mtazamaji unaendelea kutazama taarifa za NTV sasa mdahalo kwenye meza ni kuhusiana na siasa za matumizi ya GMO za mokipenda mimi ambayo imekuzwa kwa vini tete mtazamaji na hili ni swala ambalo limekuwa na mdahalo na mjadala kwenye sehemu mbalimbali likaingia kwenye siasa je wana siasa wanasemaje ndani ya studio nina baadhi yao eh, kuria Kimani ambaye ni mbunge wa Molo 
Nina vile vile Professor Gitile Naituli ambaye ni mtaalam wa utawala na uongozi na vile vile tunaye Timothy Turutiti ambaye ni mbunge wa Marakwet Magharibi tukizungumza kwa kina zaidi kuhusiana na swala hili na nikusomea tu ujumbe mmoja kabla naenda kwake Zaki Sumasame kutoka Magharibi mwa Kenya Seneta Wanandi bwana Cherargei amezungumza na ni semi za baadhi ya wanasiasa kutoka maeneo ya bonde la Ufa ambao wanafanya sana upanzi wa mahindi na ni kuhusiana na swala la ununuzi wa mahindi kutoka mataifa kigeni ambao ni mahindi ya GMOs na anasema kwamba Cherargei katika gazeti la Nation katika ukurasa wa tatu pale yasema kwa wakulima ambao ni wa kutoka eneo la North Rift na sehemu nyingi za Kenya ambapo wanakuza mahindi ni msimu wa kuvuna na, na kwamba tunadhani kwamba ilikuwa vizuri kwa wizara ya viwanda kwanza kusitisha ununuzi wa mahindi kutoka mataifa kigeni na, na msimu huu wa, wa kuvuna ukamilike na NCPB pokee mahindi yao na kisha baada ya hapo basi wakulima hawa wapeleke mahindi yao kwa NCPB na kama basi hajatosha anaongezea mwenyewe sasa wanaweza basi kwa mwa sasa wanunue mahindi kutoka nje hizo ni semi kutoka kwa seneta Wanandi bwana Cherargei na ni semi ambazo zinashikili na wengi wana siasa kutoka maeneo haya ya bonde la Ufa mtazamaji nitakuwa nazungumza naye Toretich ni mthembe ni mbunge wa Marakwet Magharibi atueleze kama <coughs> hizo ndizo semi zake vile vile kama kiongozi kutoka sehemu hiyo lakini kwanza kabisa hebu tulekee magharibi mwa Kenya ambapo wale ni wapanzi wa mahindi kwa wingi tu ama kukubwa ukipenda large scale ningependa tuzungumze na Zaki Sumasama ambaye ni mwenzangu kutoka maeneo hayo na tufahamishe je wananchi na wanasiasa na viongozi kutoka maeneo hayo wanasema nini kuhusiana na hatua hii Mwasame uanze ni wako sasa Asante Nick tupo katikati mwa mji wa Kakamega hapa ndiyo ngome ya eneo la magharibi hili ni eneo ambalo ulivyosema linapana kwa mahindi kwa wingi sana lakini miaka michache iliyopita tumeona watu wakianza kulegeza kamba kuhusiana na kilimo cha mahindi wanasema pemejeo imekuwa gali na kwa wakati mwingine kumudu ni tatizo umesema una viongozi studio ni pale wanazungumzia swala hili na hawa ndio watu ambao hatuwezi kuepuka kuona juu chini hatuwezi kuepuka kwa sababu tunawachagua kwenda bungeni kutuwakilisha tukatae tukubali hao ndio wanazungumza kwa niaba yetu na kwa, kwa njia hiyo nazungumza na mbunge wa eneo bunge la Mias Mashariki kijana mcheshi PK Salasia GMO yeah. juzi ni kwenda kwenye mkahawa una kwa chakula kidogo unasema hakifai sijui yeah. nini nini yeah. lakini hili swala la GMO kama wewe mbunge mtunga sheria yeah. unalichukulia kwa swala kwanza hilo swala la GMO mimi niko mimi kama Peter Salasia mimi niko katika ile kamati ya agriculture na kwa sababu niko katika hiyo hiyo kamati ya agriculture e, unapata kwamba sisi wakati tunasema mambo ya GMO GMO tumliona kama nimepata nataka kuungana na wakenya kupinga ile mambo ya mahindi ya GMO ambayo inawataka atikuagizwa atikuje Kenya G, kwa sababu GMO first of all GMO upande wa health eh, ya health system ya health wise it's not recommended and right now the health system in Kenya has failed so we cannot trust uh, that in fact what we were saying that those GMO if they were to be imported let those GMOs be for animal feeds but not for the human consumption and more so to the Kenyans look recently and uh, I'm happy that tomorrow we have called for for the meeting as the 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 nasema sasa okay acha nionge kiswahili kesho tunakutana na ile 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 inaitwa the food reserve food reserve tunakutana nao kesho kwa sababu juzi umeona watu wa Transoya wamevuna mahindi wengi mahindi ilikuwa inaenda kwa shilingi 50 bobora na uza 60 instead wa watu wa wa nini kununua hiyo chakula wanaacha makatels wananunua chakula wananunua hiyo mahindi wanapeleka Sudan huko wanapeleka Ethiopia tena sasa unapata kwamba hatuna wanasema tuna deficit ya 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 ya, ya mahindi so nafikiria katika hii hii maneno hii tuko na makatels ambao they are there to make sure that kuna ile tunaita like uh, the deficit the, the same way they are doing with the, the sugar is the same way they want to do kufanya pia na mambo ya mambo ya mambo ya mahindi lakini mnafanya nini kama wabunge lakini sasa kesho wakati naenda kukutana na ile lazima watupatie mikakati kwa sababu saa hizi mambo ya GMO 
eh, watupatie mikakati what are they doing kama ni upande wa ku, uh, wakati watu wamevuna they must buy that 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 means in fact the, the, the national cereals board ncv should tell us how many how many bags of maize uh, they were able to buy from watu wale watu wa watu wa transoya wakati wamevuna na hii mwaka ilikuwa so booming to them so uh, upande mwingine tunasema ya kwamba upande wa gmo uh, eh, na ile kwa convinced like tumeona kama countries kama zile za kina Zimbabwe wamekuwa waki 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 waki, eh, waki, waki they had, uh, really yani walikuwa na wameweka all the efforts kwa GMO in terms of production of uh, nini this is a farm lakini unapare ya kwamba unakuwa pale is like tunakuwa colonized na wale watu kwa sababu inakuwa anything you do unataka kuwa na pesticide unakuwa na nini na nini but if if the GMO is for tunataka tunataka zikuwe hapa isikuwe for the human consumption ya hapa ikuwe ya kwenda ku import tuwapelekee pale lakini sio hapa alafu sasa sisi tunataka tuangalie tunataka tuone kama galana irrigation that is where our focus is so mimi upande wa GMO tunakata na tutakata 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 kabisa Anasema tunakataa bunge wa Miasi Mashariki PK Salasia. Mm. Anasema GMO iletee wanyama lakini vile vile wanyama wana haki kimsingi. Lakini haijaonekana kamili kwa sababu kile ambacho mimi naelewa ni kwamba wakenya hawajahamasishwa ipasavyo kikamilifu kuhusiana na chakula cha GMO kwa sababu kinatumika kwingine na wale sijaona malalamishi ya kitake kwamba wameathirika. Kwa hiyo ni swala tutakalolizamia kwa mapana na marefu baadaye nik kwa sasa mimi na Tekikomo usukani kwako. Asante sana Zakius Mwasame kutoka kaunti ya Kakamega na asante kwa kuzungumza na mheshimiwa pale kuzungumza kwa niaba ya wakazi na wakulima kutoka maeneo magharibi mwa Kenya mtazamaji. Swala hili limetoa uzito na kinara wa upinzani. Rela Odinga hebu tumsikize amesimani ni kuhusiana na GMOs. This decision which has been made without deliberation or public participation will have far reaching and catastrophic implications for the Kenyan agriculture, for the health of the Kenyan people and our environment, that in the most dem democratically and scientifically advanced countries, the question of GMOs remain one of the great public concern and controversy, if not outright rejection. Na mtazamaji, kina rao pinzani rela udinga amepinga vikali matumizi ya GMOs. Lakini baadhi ya viongozi majitokeza na kusema kwamba ni siyasa. Lakini kama livyo taja ya mwishimiwa kuri ni kwamba miaka kumina moja ilo pita. Na tarehe tatu mwezi agosti mwaka alfumbili na kumina moja. Katika bunge la taifa, hoja ambayo ilizukue imezua, ambayo ilikuwa imetolewa na mbunge wakati huo John Mutudo ni kwamba rela udinga alitilia mkazo na kutetea serikali kwamba haikuwa inanunua mahindi ya GMOs kutoka mataifa kigeni. Je, leo amebadilisha ame pengine msemo wake kuhusiana na swala hili? Mheshimiwa Kuri unasemaje? Kwa haraka tafadhali. Raila ni yule ambaye anapinga vitu tu for the sake ya kupinga. Kwa sababu as vile umesema vizuri ni kwamba 2011 alikuwa na support. Sasa hizi 11 years after advancement technology unapata kwamba anaikata. Na ningetaka pia ku, kueleza my colleagues hapa bunge in its wisdom 2009 tulipitisha the biosafety act mm -hmm. 2010 tukaweza kuweka the national biosafety authority na hii ni timu ya experts wa katika no. masuala ya science ambao wame advise unajua watu nafikiria kwamba rais rais uh, William Ruto aliamka tu siku moja akasema no let us allow genetically modified food but this it was a decision that it has, has been made na biosafety authority of Kenya baada ya kufanya research kwa field kufanya research kwa kwa kwa, kwa soko na, 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 na wakati sasa one of the regulations ambayo ziko ni kwamba kama hiyo chakula ya GMO ikiingia kwa, kwa katika masoko zetu tutakuwa na option ya kwamba ukitaka ile organic iko hapo ukitaka hiyo ambayo iko genetically modified iko hapo na other countries na vile watu wanasema ya kwamba mkisikia Raila anasema ya kwamba and the developed countries were to me genetically modified food one of the one of the most developed economies is switzerland 
And Switzerland, ni one of the leading both in, in, in growth, in production mm -hmm. of, G, of genetically modified uh, of GMO, mm -hmm. both kwa production na kwa consumption. No. So other countries are doing it. So to, uh, why to, to demystify higher mambo? Kwa sababu, research has gone into them. Kufano, kutumbunga mwene nisikia kisama lazima kwamba tukue na sheria ya kuzingatia mambo ya GMO. We already have a law in the Biosafety Act of 2000 and, uh, 2009. Mm -hmm. So, miaka mm -hmm. mingi ya GMO, ya research. Alafu pia tu, um, vile, vile waziri kuri ameza kusema siku ya leo, uh, mm -hmm. as, 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 a, as an emphasis. Ya kwamba priority ya kwanza ya ni kununua mahindi through what's called strategic reserve, kutoka no. kwa kulima. Mm -hmm. Lakini, tuna situation sahizi as we speak, Ya kwamba milas mm. hawana mahindi ya kutosha ya ku, ya ku, ya ku, ya ku mil ndiyo tuweza kupata unga ugali katika masoko yetu. Hawa kulima wengine wameweza wame kuyavuna mahindi wameza ku, ku, kuya hold katika store zao. So ina, inaweka a country in a, in, a, in a tricky situation. Kwa sababu La, kama, kama, kama milas hawana, hawana, hawana mahindi mm -hmm. eh, basi tutafanya nini? Alafu beya unga ikiongazeka tutaanza kublem serikali. La, lakini nadhani mwishimua kuna swali kwa serikali jeo mefanya juhudi za kununua haya mahindi kama livotaja mwishimua senator terarge na umemisikia uh, salasi ya pala kezumza kusema kwamba wakulima magaribi mwa Kenya umevuna. Je kuna juhudi za serikali kununua haya mahindi sekunde 30? Kuna, kuna yes kuna ile polisi ambayo kwa serikali ni mahindi yanunua through the strategic reserve. Wamenunua tayari. Wameanza wame kuinunua mengi. They have bought a lot of them but they ah. cannot still uh, feel the, 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 the demand. Acha tumsikie professor. Mm. Yes, I think uh, kwanza ningetaka um uh, kufafanua mm. uh, mheshimiwa hia ningefurahi sana kama angesikiliza uh, bwana <laughs> Kwa sababu hili alisema, yeah. siku zama ati watu wa uh, tagi njiemu, mm. watu wanazama nataka kuelewa hii kitu ni nini. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na ee vile hame zungumuza. At least, least you are making progress. Vile mwesuguwa hame zungumuza. You are making progress. Vile mwesuguwa hame wanaguri hapa hame zungumuza. Mm. Is an indication that actually atu elewi. Ya yeah, elewi. Najua hame zama genetically modified. Na zama genetic engineering with the same language as genetic modified. And genetically modified organism. Sio the same as in genetic engineering. Tupe tofauti. Kuna kitu tunaita plant breeding. Mm -hmm. Plant breeding, we have institutions in Kenya doing it. Kenya agricultural research is doing it. There are a lot of those who are. That is plant engineering. Mm -hmm. Ni kujaripu kuona ni mea gani. Inawasa kustamini uh, ale ya hanga mm -hmm. ya specific place. Nam. Specific place. To genetically modify something, ni kuchukua kuanza mahindi. Mm -hmm. Na unajua mahindi na kulo na inaito mbora, inaito nini hizi insect. Mm -hmm. Sasa ku, kusuhia hizi kulo na hiyo, unasikuwa njinzi kutoka kwa mnyama. Mm -hmm. Unaweka kwa mahindi. So umechukua kutoka kwa mutu, ama umechukua njinzi kutoka kwa ngombe, ama kutoka kwa rabbit. Ili, hizi insect ambayo inakula ikitu ikikuja, Inatambua hii kitu ni munyama si mahindi. Isikule. Isikule. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, also, you can genetically engineer it for productivity. Mm -hmm. So, there is, I mean, genetically modify. There is a big difference here between plant and uh, breeding. So, wakati likuwa na zungufuza, hame mix hii kitu yote. <laughs> Unaona kama hii kitu inaetua katumani, yu mahindi. Yeah. Katumani, is, that is genetic engineering. Mm. But not... Genetic modification. <laughs> because there is nothing you have modified there. No. All you have done, you have engineered the thing to grow in three months. Nam. Kwa ma ma so, lazima, lazima kuwe na debate. Bila mm -hmm. nili understand mwajimiwa hiya. Anasema tafadhali, mm -hmm. lete ikitu mbunge. Washa we have a debate. Kwa sababu debate no lenji inafanya nini, inatoka. I would like to refer mwajimiwa to a research yeah. of 2016. Mm. And this was done by, it's called, the report is called Harmonizing Biodiversity Policy Framework for the East African Community. Mm -hmm. uh, it was done in collaboration with the African Union and the Directorate of Human Resource, Science and Technology of the African Union. No. This report, it took a 10 in June 2016. In this report is a warning against GMO. It says if you want to produce in GMO, for example, in Kenya, mm -hmm. We need to isolate some land like in Ingarisa or Mandera where there is no other farms. Mm. 
and then make sure there is no gross pollination. Because mm. one GM, GMO does not reproduce. Because it's genetically, you see, it's a part plant and part animal. No. Or a part whatever. Mm. So it does not reproduce. So it, if it contaminates your food in basket. No. Sasa wao umekuwa uh, slip ni nani? Hakuna kuzalisha tena. Hakuna. Sasa wao lazima kila kitu ununue kutoka kwa nini? Hiyo mbego lazima uende kwa hizo company. Umbe kama slip. So we need to trend carefully. Naam. Okay, we need to trend carefully. We need to involve our people's representative. I mean there will be very passionate ones like Dr. Guria here like like Bwana Guria here. And there will be a very reasonable ones like Mweshimiwa here in that Mbunge. <laughs> you know, your Mbunge is very balanced. Professor. We have brought everyone there. Professor, Illi, what are... <laughs> Illi we do something Anam. without passion, mm -hmm. without emotions, Anam. so that we can protect the people of Kenya. The Anam. other thing is, uh, he has mentioned all these organizations. Kwa kwa raka mshima sabamu. Our tabu yetu ni kwamba, kwa sababu ya corruption, is our institutions don't work. No. They are not working. Can we please make them work fast Aha. to protect us? Mwishima Tulutich, Mwishima Kuri alipendekeza kwa mba nyi ambao ni wapanzo mahindi kwa ukubwa ama large scale kwa mba mweze kupuwa jemozo. Unasema aje kusena na hii. Hii meataka kwa shifu sana. Kwa sababu, kwanza mime nakubaliana na Senator Wanandi, Mwishima Charagia Rafikiangu, ya kwa mba sizi kama wabunge wa North Rift na South Rift. Tunakashifu sana importation ya 10 million bags of maize. Mm. Rift Valley ni bread, bread basket ya Kenya. Anam. Na Kenya iko na uwezo ya kuzalisha mahindi gunia milioni eh, 42 mpaka milioni 48. Tukiongea hivi, wakulima Rift Valley wame harvest mm. mahindi iko kwa store. Saa ile bei mila zanonunua nayo sisi atupingi atu iko sawa. Mm. Lakini bei iko juu kwa sababu ya the cost of production ya, ya mahindi. Mm. E, mwaka huu fertilizer ilikuwa shilingi 1700, e, diesel ilikuwa imepanda na matumizi mengine ya shamba. So ukiona cost of production ya mahindi ni kutoka 35,000, mm. I mean 40,000 to 50,000 per acre. Naam. So na hiyo acre ina produce around maybe 15 uh, 15 bags of maize to 16 bags of maize. Sisi tunajua tuko na a lot of maize pale ch, uh, pale mashinani. Mm. Na sisi tunaomba serikali the first priority kabla wafanya importation ya GMO maize waweze kununua mahindi yetu mzuri pale kwa bei ambayo sisi tutaridhika nayo mm. NCBB mpaka sasa hii haijafunguliwa mm. na sisi tunahuzunisha tuna kwa sababu mpaka sasa hii NCBB haijafunguliwa kununua mazao yetu ni millers ndio wananunua hiyo uh, mahindi no. so we want the government to mop up kwanza wanunua mahindi yote pale Rift Valley ama ama sehemu nyingine ambayo inakuza mahindi before we end the second uh, phase ya kuimport mahindi Kusu uh, matamshi ya Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga anafanya kazi yake opposition. <laughs> Tunashukuru yeye kwa sababu wakati wa handshake mm. we didn't have an opposition in this country. <laughs> Na tunashukuru yeye sasa kwa sababu anaplay his role uh, kama mm. leader opposition kukemea vitu kama hizi. Lakini pia anaongea from both sides of the mouth because nakubaliana kwamba yeye alikuwa pale akikashifu GMO 2011. Na na akitetea. Yes, akitetea akitetea GMO 2011 na saa hii ana, anapuza na, ni political of course anacheza kisiasa ya mwisho mm -hmm. nakubaliana kuna sheria by safety act lakini GMO was suspended hata kama hiyo sheria ilikuwa Nam. so hiyo sheria kweli nataka kuuliza is it still serving us that's why i say it, we need to relook at the legal framework tuangalie sheria kama inafaa ama ifai Mm -hmm. Asante sana. Asante sana mheshimiwa chemo the authority ambaye ni mbunga mara kwetu magharibi. Bodi anatupa kisogo tuna dakika mbili peke yake. Ningependa niwape sekunde 30 kila mmoja ile na mimi nitumie 30 funge. Na ni 30 tafadhali mheshimiwa. Mheshimiwa kwa kumwambia professor hapa. Mhm. Unajua amesema nimechanganya mambo ya genetic modification na genetic engineering. So let me school you professor. <laughs> genetic modification is the end. The process is genetic engineering. You do genetic engineering, that's how we end up, we end up with genetically modified organisms. Mm. Number two, you quoted a research. So let me <laughs> school you further. A There's a 2016 report uh, by the National Ge uh, Genetically Academics of Engineering and Medicine that actually said there is a lot of benefits of GMO products. Mm. So there is research showing that GMO products Pokat is meant through all the safeties mm -hmm. they actually fit for consumption. So. Na kuna na, na genetically GMO uh, uh, organisms zina end through the process of genetic engineering Asante. which we already doing as a country. Asante mheshimiwa professor. Second ah, 30. Ningesema tu tuwe 
careful na quoting research bila kujua ni nani alilipa hiyo hiyo <laughs> research who paid for it. you know remember these mm. are multinationals very rich companies naam wangupatia pesa ufanye uchaguzi utawasupport mm. dio ndio tunataka serikali kwa sababu ndio tulipatia authority ya kuchunga mm. tafadhali chunga sisi naam tafuta ile research mzuri mm. eleza sisi vizuri na ugeleza sisi tutakubali kwa sababu serikali ndio baba na mama yetu. Sa so, professor kuna chumba ambacho tutapa nyua wili mpigane na mwelimishane. <laughs> <laughs> Kisha mtupe report na mmesemaje ama mmoja mwisho wa siku. Mheshimiwa sekunde 30 tufunge. Number one. Mm. The National Assembly must be involved. Mm -hmm. The members of the National Assembly being the representative of the people must be consulted. Naam. Through of course the various uh, committees in the National Assembly. Mm. Number two, we we want to relook at the existing laws in Kenya the biosafety act the regulations mm. that we review Nam. in view of the certain of course trends in terms of uh, acceptance of GMO in Kenya mm. asante sana mheshimiwa so mara tena mheshimiwa Timothy Tutorotich mbunga mara kwetu magharibi tuna professor Gitel Naituli uh, ambaye ni mtaalamu wa utawala na uongozi vile vile amejiunga nasi kwa siku leo na mheshimiwa Kure Kimani ambaye ni mbunge wa Molo asante ni sana nyote ndani kwamba ni mjadala ambao umemfaidi mwananchi kuelewa swala hili la GMOs na kuelewa ni wapi ambapo watasimama. Pindi na wakati ambapo tutakisubiri kuona serikali itafanya jukusiana na swala hili. Mtazamaji basi huo ndio tamati ya mando mwisho wa mjadala wetu kwa siku ya leo. Siasa kwenye matumizi ya GMOs. Napata mapumziko kwa mafupi muda si mrefu. Nitakuwa narudi na taarifa za NTV Adhuhuri. Usibadu. Want to know the biggest story of the week? Do not worry, we got you covered. The weekly review is back after 23 years off the streets. For in-depth analysis of politics, business, governance, as well as social issues, the weekly review covers it all. For well-researched, exclusive, and investigative content, Get your copy of the weekly review every Sunday only in the Sunday Nation and in Swahili as Darubini ya Wiki in the Taifa Jumapili. Also available as an e-paper on nation.africa free of charge. My name is Eric Musembi. On 26th of November, tutakuwa pale Summer House Karen for the Man Cave event. Tafadhali show up with your boys club, with your squad. Tutakuwa na sherehe sezi yake, chakula timam, great team of panelists. Big man himself, Omanyala, atakuwa hapo ndani. So, enda Kenya Buzz, grab your tickets, come to pigi sherehe. The 2022 edition of Kusi Ideas Festival will place the spotlight on Africa's actions and responses to climate change in a bid to optimize the outcomes of efforts geared towards bolstering the continent's agility and resilience to shocks of growing severity. Join us on the 8th to the 9th of December 2022 in Nairobi, Kenya by simply registering at www.kusiideasfestival.com and together we can find solutions that will contribute towards our fight against climate change. 
For more information, email us at kusiafrica at ke.nationmedia.com or on 0718-020-020. To get a Biro Paki by Esther Williams, dial star 811 star 934 hash. Skiza na Nation. Did you know you can open a family bank account without having to visit a branch? Open an account instantly through PesaPub. Simply download PesaPub app from Google Play Store or Apple Store to enjoy freedom and convenience. All you need is your ID card, KRA pin and camera phone. Join our family anywhere and at any time because you can always bank on family. Family Bank is regulated by the Central Bank of Kenya. Lamu County Government welcomes you all to the Lamu Cultural Festival starting November 24th to 26th, 2022. The Cultural Festival being one of the best attended community-based cultural festivals in the country aims at promoting a peaceful coexistence of the communities in Lamu, sensitizing the community on the significance of their natural and cultural heritage resources, promoting cultural tourism for the community, empowering the youth and women through entrepreneurship, training and tapping into the vast natural and cultural resources within Lamu County. We welcome you to come indulge with us in celebrating our culture, including Dao races, donkey races, traditional exhibitions, numerous poetry readings, and traditional music performances, among other activities. Join us on our open day on 26th November 2022. Call us on 0790-771677 or SMS LAND to 21595 for more info. New Sensodyne Repair and Protect with Deep Repair. It's a huge game changer for me. The science is pretty amazing because it really goes deep inside the tooth and repairs tooth sensitivity. I am a happy patient. I will be able to go back to the things that I enjoy eating the most. The sense is there. It's going to improve the quality of my life in a big way. <laughs> the new Sensodyne Repair and Protect with Deep Repair. This is NTV.